you know, we've heard a lot today in the session so far that there is this powerful global consensus that's emerging that really gives us now the means to end AIDS um, as a public health threat by 2030. I just wondered, you know, moving from the theory to practice, how we do, how do we really expedite and push on to the next level? I think level? we need to really understand that uh, healthy is not uh, a cost. Uh, healthy is about uh, investment. And we are seeing that, for example, in, uh, with the Ebola crisis in uh, uh, Sierra Leone and uh, other places. Sierra Leone, uh, one yeah. doctor for 45,000 people. And uh, we saw that Sierra Leone, after a war period, managed really to rebuild the economy with hope. And they were having almost 14% of economic growth. And today is almost a negative growth because business was stopped, because investment went up out of the countries, education stops. So health is not about uh, uh, just e expenditure. Health is about investment. I know you and through partnerships with the private sector, with pharmaceutical companies. What, what should be the other sorts of innovations that we as a global development community should be looking out for in the years ahead? I think we need really to see health as an holistic uh, issue and uh, to make sure that uh, a private sector can uh, help us uh, to innovate, for example, for uh, uh, new drugs uh, which will be accessible not anymore to millions of people, but billions of people. If you think about uh, NCDs in the future, if you think about, we need necessarily. And that partnership needs to be also helping Africa, for example, uh, to produce uh, locally medicine. Uh, just today, I can tell you, 25% of uh, uh, health burden is in Africa, and uh, we have uh, less than 2% of uh, medicine who are produced in Africa. Research and development need to be also transferred, and uh, we need to have a different way to partner with private sector. In order to produce these game-changing initiatives? Game-changing initiative in terms of diagnostic, in terms of... Uh, but not only that one, look at uh, uh, communication. Uh, people were telling us uh, that we would have never have a possibility in Africa to introduce mobile phone and others. You, today you have uh, more mobile phone in Africa than uh, even uh, North America. So it's important to tap on this initiative and I saw that in northern part of uh, uh, um, Ethiopia, I saw it in Rwanda uh, using uh, new technology to be able to communicate uh, like uh, you're doing today. Yeah. And, and this is an interesting point you touch on. I mean, we've heard a lot on DEVEX about localization and the localization of aid. So what, what's your sense of the way that things are going in your, your own field at UNAID? You know, we, we, we really produce a report on um, a dependency crisis. And uh, we mobilize uh, African countries during the last uh, five years. Africa increased uh, their uh, uh, domestic fund by uh, 150%. And also Africa help uh, honestly to um, make sure that uh, we have more and more uh, people put on treatment based on domestic funding. So country like South Africa where we have a total denial some time ago, now they are paying uh, $2 billion from just uh, their domestic fund. So I think we need to change the paradigm, uh, moving from one part of the world as a money and one part of the world as a problem to more shared responsibility and global solidarity.